it, baby! How do you like that? that? I'm thinking of using that as my new intro. What do you guys think? Do you like the hey, baby? Hey, baby! <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I think I've gotten sick of saying hello, hello. Because it always reminds me of that Lionel Richie song. Hello, is it me you're looking for? Maybe that should be my new intro. Hello, is it me you're looking for? That's too long. We'll stick with, hey, baby! Welcome back to Feed the Beast Horizon, guys. And yeah, look, I built a little room here in my basement. And we are going to get on with some reactor... No, what is it called? It's Rotary Craft. Hooray, look at all these things I made. Um, so, yeah, I built out this room. I already said that. It's here in my basement. The basement makes an abrupt change from dirty old stone to this nice clean sky brick. And yeah, then it leads down to here. And I think I'm going to use this room for mainly um, setting up the machines. I think I'm going to need a lot more room than this to even get through half of the rotary craft stuff. So, but this is a good start. Over here, you can see we are growing canola. And you can find these seeds for the canola plants just by hitting grass and stuff. And I think this one is complete. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell when these are done. So I'm just going to let these grow a little bit. But... The main thing you want out of these guys is more canola seeds. So as you can see here, I have a barrel of canola seeds. I've got three stacks and you see I have a stack, uh, I have a barrel here full of iron. As you can see, I'm smelting up tons and tons of this, H what do you call it, HSLA. And I think that stands for high strength, low alloy steel. I, I, I did a little looking up of things and that's what that stands for. So yeah, I built out this little room. As you can see, I've got a barrel here full of HSLA steel, and that seems to be like one of the only things you really need for this mod. And I extended my ME network down here too, so to make things easy. Um, one thing that's kind of funky is you have to build this work table in order to craft a lot of the things in Rotary Craft. And I think they did that so you specifically couldn't easily craft things with the ME crafting terminal. So some things you can craft in here, others you can't. Um, it's a little funky. Let's go ahead and clear out our inventory so we can get to it. As you guys can see, I, I got these blast furnaces working again. Uh, made myself a lot of gunpowder from the crops that I made and it's steady with lava underneath it. It's holding steady at 625 degrees. So I don't think it's, I don't think it's capable of overheating, but I wonder if we got it even hotter if it would go faster. I'm not sure. So. Two furnaces seems to be more than enough to keep me in steel. We've got tons of steel here, and I think we should we should move on. So yeah, um, I guess one of the things we should get into is engines. Um, this right here is a DC engine. So let's look it up here real quick. Um, how do I get to the start here? I think these are engines. These are basically the equivalent of redstone engines from... What was it called? Is it IC2 that does redstone engines or is it Buildcraft? I can't remember. But anyway, this is your very low tier engine. Um, basically, the only thing you need it to get it working is a redstone signal. So we, we can grab ourselves a lever. Oh, wow. I do not have levers. That is amazing to me. Let's make some levers, shall we? There we go. A stack of levers. We'll probably need these anyway. So, yeah. Um... So something else we should make, and before we get to this, this looks broken. Did I hit this with a wrench or something? Oh, now it's back to normal. So this here is a fermenter. It's currently at 25 degrees Celsius, and I think that's the right temperature. If we give it... Oh my gosh, we gotta get some of those sound mufflers. Hopefully those will work, because this is annoying. Sound muffler. We need the note block, don't we? Note block should be easy enough. Sound muffler. Clicky. And we got it. Good. All right. Let's see if this stops that noise. Do you guys hear that? That is... There we go. That stopped it. Hooray. All right. So this guy is currently powering this fermenter. At the moment, we want to try... Ah, it's back! What the hell, sound? All right. We're going to turn the sound off. All right. So, yeah. We're going to turn the sound off. We might miss a few things, but who cares? We want to make a fermenter, and we made one. Um, the recipe for it is, let's just type in, nope, fermenter, and I'll show that to you real quick. A lot of this stuff is just very 
complex organizations of SLA steel. So as you can see, HLS says steel in the corners, but they need to make these things called base plates. Base plates are three HLS HLSA steel, but then it needs an impeller in the middle. An impeller is made by more HLSA steel surrounded by more H HLS steel. So anyway, you just need tons of it. Look, it disappeared again. What is going on with this thing? Now the face is over here. You guys see that? Anyway, we're going to click it and ignore this text message I'm getting. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to try and make some yeast. Yeast is the next step in making, I think we need sugar. And I have no sugar, but let's see here. Read, maybe if I just type in sugar, we'll get this and we'll, we'll just make ourselves some sugar here real quick. Stacks and stacks and stacks. Okay, so there's our sugar. I think the next thing we need, let's look it up in the book here real quick. So somewhere in here is, let's see here, probably here. No. No. What? I swear this book can be difficult to use sometimes. Maybe here? Here it is, fermenter. Uh, the fermenter, you want to produce ethanol. To make yeast, place sugar in the top slot, dirt on the bottom. And I thought that was there was more to it than that. Ah, okay, let's try that. So sugar on the top. Dirt on the bottom will get us some yeast, and we've already got a, a very low-powered engine powering it, but I don't think it requires any more than that. Oh, we probably need to put water in here as well. Yep, this is going to require water. So something I wanted to try, I know that Rotary Craft has its own water system, but we want to try and we want to try and see if it'll work nice with Thermal Craft. So let's see here, aqueous. So we want these we want these pipes, of course, and then we want to make an aqueous accumulator. Boom! Let's get us some. You know, we should run upstairs and get a whole barrel of water while we're thinking about it too. I know I have some tropics water up there. We could just grab that very quickly. I think it's up here in this area. I think I'm getting a little lag because I'm processing a lot of iron at the moment. So if it seems a little choppy, I think that's why. Sometimes that infernal furnace I have downstairs is 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 slowing me down. This guy right here, the I think the entity rates get into like a very high number right there. So if you guys ever have one of those, that may happen if you're processing a lot of stuff in it all at once. Anyway, we're back. Um, let's see here. Let's just plop this water down. Actually, yeah, we can actually use the barrel if we put it here like this. But there's a thing there. There we go. And we put this plunk, plunk. We'll just put it here. Um, do I have my wrench on me? Good, I do. We were going to try this with the nucleus accumulator, but we have a bar barrel of water right here. And if we do have levers on us, don't we? Yeah, we could just use the lever to power it. So let's give this a try. Plunk. Oh, look at that. We can use thermal expansion. Ha <laughs> ha. I am happy about that. Look at this yeast I'm making. Holy crap, it makes it fast too. So let's let that process through. And I think the next step is we need to use this yeast to make sludge. And I think we put yeast on top and any sort of organic matter on the bottom. Let's go grab some organic matter. I think the best thing would be like some saplings. I have about 300 fur saplings. Let's see if those even work. If not, maybe we can grab some potatoes or something. Spruce saplings should work. So we've got 48 yeast here. Let's just let it cycle through. Nope, that's enough. Screw it. That's enough. Enough of that. So if we put that there and yeast on top. Ooh, it's doing it. All right, we now have sludge. Sludge is the next step. Um, we need to get ourselves a furnace, don't we? Furnace. We've got 60 of them apparently. Okay. Not sure why I made 60 furnaces, but I did. So we'll just we'll actually put this guy in the wall. Let's put a whole bunch of them because we want to. Nah. Why'd I say a whole bunch? What am I thinking? We'll put two. I'm having brain farts at the moment. Let's put this back so it's all pretty again. There we go. Everything's pretty again. Needs to be pretty. Um, let's grab some coal too. And then I think what you do is you just take the sludge that you get from this and cook it and you get ethanol crystals. 
Um, yeah, so let's give that a try. Our, our first main goal in this is to get up to uh, the gas-powered engines. And the gas-powered engines, I think there's two mostly. Let's take a look. They look really cool. I really like the look of them. Here's one, the gasoline engine. It's like, ooh, it takes an ignition unit. Wow, look at all this weird stuff I gotta make. But it has a gold top. Now, last time I looked underneath the hood of my car, there was not gold in my gasoline engine, but whatever, they wanna do it that way, that's fine. Um, we are going to completely bypass this steam engine. From what I hear, these things are a pain in the butt and are prone to blow up. So you gotta, you gotta watch out. Risks overheating at 150 degrees. What about this guy? See, this says nothing about overheating. And it produces a lot of power. And then they've got this thing called a performance engine, which does even more power. So these are the two things we're gonna aim for now. We could make ourselves a wind turbine, but those seem kind of sucky. And we could make ourselves a hydrokinetic engine. Those also seem kind of sucky. So we're going to avoid the sucky. So let's try cooking some of this up. Yeah, it seems to be working, cool. So we'll just let this sit. We should try it with these first saplings and see if it works. Oh, it does work with first saplings. So we are going to save, we're gonna save our first saplings. We do not need to be wasting those. So yeah, what's the next thing we wanna do? Um, I guess what we could do, so this is a grinder. Um, let's put, we can put canola seed in this, right? And we should be able to make lubricant. And we need lubricant for various things. I don't want to go into it. It's it's kind of it's kind of um, it's private matter. I need lubricant for my own needs. Actually, we need it to work some of these engines. Nothing dirty. So let's see if we have a drum here. We're just going to store everything in a drum. Let's see if we can make a drum. Oh, I need to make. Some cauldrons first, we'll make those. Three of those, and then some drums. Let's make a couple, Let's, we can make three. So these we're gonna use to store probably fuel, and this uh, this lubricant we're gonna make here, this, this lube. Um, let's get ourselves a pneumatic servo, I think that'll help out. New, no, we've got 29, we'll just take them all. So yeah, if I take some of these canola seeds, right? And I place them in this grinder, we will have to give it power like this. Let's see here, It's power. it seems like it needs more torque. So we're definitely gonna need an engine that can do better. Or we could combine maybe two of these engines, which might be something to try. Um, let's pick this guy up. So this guy isn't gonna cut the mustard when it comes to a grinder. Let's pick up these two engines and let's see if we can make, uh, it needs to be go through the back. So we're gonna need one of those bevel things. So let's actually set up, no, that's right. The output always goes towards you. We need to make ourselves some tools, I think. Let's see here, a screwdriver. One of the tools in here is a screwdriver. There's like 20 screwdrivers in these mod packs, but we want this one. And we want something, ooh, what is this? Oh, display screen. Oh man, we're definitely gonna make one of those. I don't even know what it does. Look at this. Look at the, ah, oh, I love rotary craft. What is this? Oh, it's a screen slime. Um, I forget what I was even doing. We want, we, let's look in the book. This thing's called something weird. Tools, here it is. It is an angular transducer. Doesn't that just roll right off the tongue? So let's, uh, let's type that in. Angular transducer. Fairly easy to make, you just need an ender pearl. And these are gonna be our two main tools. Um, the next thing we're gonna need are some crankshafts, which just sounds funny. And yeah, I think we should, we're gonna need something to combine. I think the gearbox might combine. Oh, no, we want this shaft unit. That's what we want. So the shaft unit takes base plates, shaft units, and uh, as a gear and some of this. So let's grab all that stuff. I've made a bunch of this stuff already because they all seem to be made out of the same stuff, really. I need some base plates. I might have some of that in my system. 
Base plates. Woo! -hoo. Ah! Sometimes the stuff jumps around in here. Drives me crazy. All right. So, uh-huh. Let's see here. We want to make a junction box, if I remember that correctly. Here we go. Junction box. Shaft junction. All right. What am I missing? Shaft junction. HLSA steel? That is what I'm missing. How about now? Oh yeah, baby, we got two of these. So cool. I think we can use this to combine three of those engines over there. Along with these, these shaft units. We're going to turn it this way. Right? So if we take like that. Okay, perfect. That's the output or the what, what should be the input. And if we do like this. Oh, what the heck? Perfect. Oh, wait, we want it the other way. There we go. And then we're going to put our junction. Where's our junction? Where's my junction? Um, I think we want it kind of like that. Nope, that did not work. So let's try. Oh, I think this will only do two. Huh. Yeah, I think it will only do two. Uh, what should I do? What should I do? Let's get this screwdriver in here. So green is output, right? I think that's right. Or maybe red is output. Yeah, red is output. There we go. So this we can use this guy to combine two of these DC engines and see if that's going to be enough or not. We'll just plonk them down and then we'll spin them with the screwdriver. There we go. And if I put a... Where are my levers at? I must have put them up or something. Levers. Am I going blind? Oh, I am going blind. They're right here. Boom. And let's give that a try. Oh, shoot. This needs lubrication, doesn't it? It's sparking. Hmm. Maybe this isn't turned right. There we go. How about now? This still does not have enough torque. It has almost enough power, it has enough speed, but not enough torque. So we need a better engine even to work this thing. So good to know. All right, let's get some of this crap out of here. We could use a steam engine, but I say nuts to that. We are going to go straight. Oh, look, we've got lots of sludge. Let's cook that bad boy up. Here we are, we've got ethanol crystals. So we can use this to make a gas powered engine. So that's what we should do. We definitely can't get to the lubrication part yet. So yeah, I'm just glad that the thermal expansion water works with this. So cool. We've got ethanol crystals. We've, we're halfway there. Let's look up how to make a... I've already forgotten the name of it. It should be here somewhere. Here it is. Gasoline engine. The gasoline engine, true to its name, runs on ethanol. Simply load ethanol crystals and watch them burn. So the, the, it looks like the hard part is going to be this ignition unit, and then the two times gears, impellers pretty easy, and cylinders. Let's let's see what this stuff takes. Let's just type in gasoline. Okay, let's make these cylinders. Seems pretty simple, but I need HLSA steel. Did that not work? I have some right in my inventory. Yeah, why isn't this working? Maybe it's just shapeless crafting. Oh wow, some things you can't make in the work table. That is so dumb. That is just dumb and a half. I will never understand why they make it difficult to do things. So I have to make it up here? Yeah. <laughs> Let's make a couple of these. We might need them. All right, enough of that. Um, what's next on the old gasoline engine? Okay, piece of gold. These are pretty easy. Bump. We're missing the shaft units, aren't we? We sure are. All right, we need to make a couple of these. Throw that in there. All right, we've got this. Let's put this sugar up. And let's put this redstone up. I think I need everything else. We don't need this. And we don't need that. 
We can put these canola seeds up too. Okay, back to it. We were making ourselves a gasoline engine. Let's see what this ignition unit takes. Boom. Okay, so now we just need an impeller. And I think that's it. I think we've got everything else. Do we have shaft units in our inventory? Let's grab some of those. Shaft. He's a bad amf -er. Let's see here. Uh, can we make this yet? Can we please make this damn thing? We've bounced back and forth between two dealy doos. We're so close. Let's just go ahead and put the stuff in here. Whatever we're missing, we'll figure out. Boom. Boom. Oh, I think I'm missing one piece of gold. Isn't that funny? All right, so ignition thing there. What else? One shaft unit. I love that term. That's a great term. We need the cylinders on top. And yes, we are just missing one solitary piece of gold to get this bad boy going. Gold! Gold! We've got it! Good God! All right. So we can break all this crap. Stop running. Stop it. All right. We've now got our gasoline engine. We've got our crankshaft going here. Boom. Oh, didn't that look pretty? So if I put ethanol crystals in here, it should just go, right? Look at that. That's enough. All right. So now let's see if we are capable of pumping out the lubricant <laughs> that this stuff makes into a drum. Come here, drum. So we'll put the... Oh, shoot! Do not stand on top of that. It is a grinder. I should have known that. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with me? All right, where is... Here it is. All right, so if we put this like that... Plunk. Plunk. And where is this? We're just going to do that and click this and hit ignore. All right, the next thing we should do is just hit it with a wrench and we'll see if this guy can suck out lube. Anything? It, has it produced any yet? It has produced it. Maybe it only does it from the sides. Let's try this. We, we'll try every side and if it doesn't work, we'll just use stupid old buckets or something. Um, what did I want to, what did I want to do? We want to turn that off. Ah! It's working! Okay, so only out of the sides. Very good. Alright, so we're we're producing lube. Good job, everyone. We are producing lube. And this will run until it runs out of these amazing ethanol crystals. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. But that's funny. Look at this gas. I've got fuel. And apparently that's going to last me... 57 minutes that's cool I like that and that will produce lube for me this is still producing sludge um, did we run out of yeast really I'm out of yeast gotta make that bread let's see here yeast did I throw yeast in here no let's make more yeast so I need sugar and dirt I know I shouldn't have stopped so I guess if um, the fluid ducts work then that probably means that the item ducts work as well so we could definitely pipe the stuff out of here too give me that dirt mcgurt all right back at it get out of here so we definitely want to set ourselves up a, an infinite water source down here because this this bucket's going to drain pretty quickly i think actually it's doing all right so how much lube do i have Oh my god, I almost have one bucket of lube. <laughs> a bucket of lube. Uh, very interesting. It, it, it's, de it's definitely taking its time. So we could make two of these um, gasoline-powered engines, and this would work faster. So I, I like with all things, I think if you add more power, it will work faster. So cool, guys. Um, I think we're going to wrap it up there. We got two gasoline engines already. I think next time... What we're going to do is try to make this performance engine because these engines do amazing things. Ooh, we could use a gas turbine. Oh, but it runs on jet fuel. So we, yeah, we'll definitely have to work our way up to jet fuel. But we're going to make this performance engine next time. 
because it looks even cooler than the other one. It just takes a radiator, which I think means it's going to require water to cool it down. But once we get our infinite water source set up, that will not be a problem. Um, the other engine I'm interested in making is this AC electric engine. This looks really cool and it runs basically off of uh, a redstone clock, but I think it produces a hell of a lot of energy. So yeah, these are the two energy sources we're going to work on next time. And yeah, guys. So I want to thank each and every one of you handsome and gorgeous people for watching. And if you uh, enjoyed the episode, consider giving it a thumbs up. That helps me out immensely. Look at that. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Sometimes these light sources crack me up. So yeah. And until next time, guys, we'll see you all real soon. Bye. I love you. Goodbye.